Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. We got a conversation. Well, I'm picking a conversation of topic so we can talk about it. We got Nene Leaks out there still complaining to the masses. She wants us to boycott here. She wants us to take up for her there. She's out. She's in the out parts where she don't fell out with Tamar Braxton. Okay, she fell out with Wendy Williams. Uh, and the list goes on and on, on and on. She even wore a shell. She fell out with Greg. Remember? She said she couldn't take him no more. But I really thought that was some legal issues and tax issues. And she didn't want to be connected to it. So she had to quit fast and her get a divorce and make a storyline. And then come back to Greg later on. She even fell out with Andy. And Andy know he loves himself some Nene. And you see how money makes you look different. Uh-huh. And I mean, Nene was really up there with actresses such as Betty White. She was up there with Angela Bassett. And look how far she done fail. Unless she's trying to get illuminated. And this is her humiliation period. I don't know. Because, see, I look at things from all different sizes. And then I try to formulate a logical reasoning. So, my theory is she's being humiliated right now with the illuminated ones and hopefully she can retain other positions when they get finished dragging her okay because that's what they do they take you you be poor and, and you know happy and whatever and then they swip, flip the switch and you're going to be hateful mean disorderly because Nene don't like anybody coming up to her saying nothing. I think she's just like, she feels like she's untouchable. But when she hit the fan, she wants everybody to run to her defense. She wants everybody to rally around her. Boycott. Bravo. She even had a shirt made that said, don't make a drama of your drama. Now, who was she talking about? Because I want to know, do she still have the shirt so she can wear it? Wear it for 24-7, 365 days of the week. Wear it because that's what you're doing. You're making drama out of your drama. See, you just picked on both of them. And they love themselves some nanny. But you couldn't see past anything but yourself. Now you were in the, uh, what do you call it? You were in a lawsuit with um, this man's wife. And we don't see you talking about that anymore. I mean, you were taking pictures with him. You were just flossing, traveling all across the country and everything. On your dime, I'm pretty sure it was on your dime. Okay. And then things got really heavy and got too intense. And your lawyers probably told you, shut your mouth. Don't utter another word about that woman and that man. You can go out. Make sure you go out. Do whatever you want to do. But don't open your mouth. Because that's what gets you, Nene. That mouth of yours. It puts you all in. All, it puts you in all types of scenarios to where it looks bad. It is bad. So evidently somebody took you by the hand or took you by the shoulder. Set you down and say, look, do you want to win or you want to lose? Because I'm going to get my money either way. But if you want to win, keep a low profile, shut your mouth. Okay? And we're just strictly talking about the other little side legal issue with Naomi and his wife. And how far that's going to go. Because she, yeah, she want 100 grand. And nine times out of ten, she's going to get that 100 grand. But we're not going to hear about it. Because Nene's not going to talk about it. Okay? Because she got bigger fish to fry. But she ain't letting Naomi go. Don't even believe it. 
she probably still seeing that man, but they being incognito, which is what they should have did from the first get go until he was single. But you know, she was trying to floss, trying to floss, trying to floss. That's what she do, and it always gets her in a hell heap of trouble. Now, she is suing NBC Universal, Andy Cohen, and all the affiliates. Okay. Because she felt she was done wrong. Now, how long racism, discrimination, and anything else put against the people of color? Okay. It's been there for a long time and it ain't going nowhere. Only the Lord can come and straighten this stuff out now. Because man and woman has just gotten too evil and too greedy. Too evil and too greedy. And too much power. They want that power as well to be able to say when another person can come and go and how they want to treat them. Even their next door neighbor, they'll be ready. Well, I don't like you. You need to move. And they have the power to do it. You're gone. Because there's no defense for anybody that's trying to live a Christian life. It's no defense when some people are just trying to do right by themselves and other people. Because it's always somebody that want to throw a monkey wrench into your program. But see, with Nene, like I said, you see all these people that wrote books. What makes your book that you're releasing? I don't know. Probably you won't even release it. It'll be something like that She by Sheree. Fashions that we have not seen and probably won't see this year. Okay? <sighs> because Sheree lives in a dream world and Nene lives in a dream world as well. She wants everything to go her way. She don't want nobody saying no to her. And she wants to capitalize on this lawsuit. But she ain't even really looked at the latter part. Because what she's doing is saying, I'm going to sue y'all for as much as I can get. And then I want you to tell the powers that be to unleash, unleash the rain so I can start working. But ain't nobody uh, telling you, Nene, uh, you can't work. You got a lounge. You got a club. You got a night lounge or whatever you call it. The Lenithia. Make it work. Make it do what it do. It could be very successful. And then you can definitely humble yourself doing, doing those experiences. Because you do need work, Nene. You need very much so work on your attitude. Because it's shitty. It's very shitty. And people that got good sense are not going to come to your defense because you're selfish. You're only looking at your predicament. You ain't looking at somebody else's predicament. You're looking at yourself. And then you want to take credit by saying, I did it for the masses. It wasn't just me. It was the principle. When we know if you would have got your way, you would still been on that show, still making that money, and still getting discriminated against. But since you were getting paid of what you wanted, how much you wanted, you let things slide. And see, that was the time you should have been boycotting. You should have been speaking your peace. But you were getting paid. You love what you were getting paid. You love being called the HBIC of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hell, you even said it. That's my baby. No, it wasn't. It, it, wasn't, it was never your baby. They just let you go along, keep doing what you had to do to keep the ratings up. So technically, you were a puppet. You were a puppet for the industry. You felt like you had nothing but good graces with them and whatever you wanted, they should provide for you. But, Nene, let's just look at it from a different perspective. What did they actually hire you for? Did they actually hire you for your capabilities of acting, reading a script, and then putting it out for the masses to see? Do you have any schooling that teaches you anything about the acting field or theater field? No, you don't. So this is why you want to hold on real tight, real close to that idea that you're going to go back out there and work in the reality world. Because in the reality world, you don't have to read scripts. You don't have to, you know, do what you need to do to bring out a character and make it believable. You see what I'm saying? I ain't going to say you too old because we got old actors, seasoned actors out there still trying to make it do what it do. Especially Betty White. She was a great example of working up to the point where she died. So where was her retirement? I mean, that's the only thing you're thinking about is money, power, and greed. 
That's all and in that order. When are you going to sit there and put your retirement plan in? Because too many people don't want to see you. They tell you the truth, as quiet as it's kept, but I'm loud, I'm going to speak it out. Don't nobody care for you too much. It's probably about you're going to have your stances. You're going um, you're gonna to have your stances. But you have more people against you than for you if you really look at the numbers. If you really look at your interaction and how people feel when you go on certain platforms and, and, and talk about certain subjects or they're under your Twitter account. Mm-hmm. But when it's something that they want to know about, oh, you don't want to talk about that. Like uh, Naomi, Naomi, you don't want to give us the, the real tea on that. But you say you want to drop a new book. You've been working on it for about a year. Nene, we don't believe that shit. We don't believe it. And if you do drop that book, it ain't going to be shit in there. You're just going to be done gooped us or gooped the public. To buy your book. Because if you settle. Which that's probably what you're trying to do. But if they have their way. And they could finagle here and there. They don't want to give you anything. Because they don't think you deserve anything. Nene. Again that's a job. Where you ad live. You don't get a script. And try to put things out. And project a, per a particular scene. You see what I'm saying. So you have to take the easy way out where you want to get on reality shows where you can express however you want to express and you don't have to have no lines. These people that became actors and actresses, they went to school, they developed their craft. They deserve the more money. They deserve the six, seven, eight uh, figure type salary. Not you. Not you. You're the queen of wretchedness if you really want to put it to where it is and where it should be. And I'm wondering... I saw something with ATL and, and you. Are y'all fighting? Did Michelle tell you something that you didn't like? I mean, did she just make you look through the mirror and face your demons? Because you usually just break up with everybody. You break up with uh, Wendy. You broke up with Tamar. And I hear it's because of some man, some African man, honey. You didn't tell her about something that was going on. He took somebody else on the trip that you were on with your so-called boyfriend. Okay? Hmm. Cynthia was your ride or die. And Greg was your ride or die. But they're both gone out your life. And you're like, you don't care. You don't need them. But it's only when somebody getting on your ass. Or in your ass about a particular subject or topic. That's when you want to make a crime scene. You want to say, well, I'm going through some things. I have people that, I have my own small circle who come and help me out. That's what you said when the issue had first happened with Greg's uh, death. Then later on now, we're hearing, oh, I don't have anybody. People just think you're okay. You're all right. I'm trying to be... Uh, strong but i have my weak points as well well believe it or not nene a lot of people have lost their husbands a lot of people have lost friends due to covid or whatever everybody has their issues you're no different no different everybody's gonna have to pay that price of death one day and what would you want to be known for what would you want to leave your two sons but oop, let's backtrack why are we always talking about your younger son, but we never talk about your older son? And you even fell out with him. Dwight. And he was trying to culturalize you on the finer things. But you did that little smirk smirk. <laughs> that little mess you always do when you make that face. And it's so ugly. It's so unattractive. And you're not an ugly woman. You're a nice looking woman. But your, your, your senses, your thought pattern is illogical in my Star Trek voice, Spock. Illogical. Meaning it's not rational. It has no logic in it. It's just wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to stop and say 
Come on in the house. We got some shit to talk about. Nene trying to put out a book, a tell-all book. When she know if she's in that lawsuit, she going to sign that NDA clause. And we ain't going to hear nothing. And she thinks she going to goop us like Portia gooped us hell to the no, no, no. Mm-mm. Don't fall for it, people. Don't fall for it. Because you think Nene on your side, when she don't got what she got, she going to keep it moving. And she's going to still be ugly to peep out in the street. She's going to make like she don't see them. She don't know them. She shouldn't be bothered with them. She's going to keep that same nasty attitude. Because Nene would never humble herself. I mean, what does it take for you to humble yourself? And just be human, Nene. Just be human because you always want people to uh, be around you. You want people to comfort you. But that's a two-way street. And it's sad to say Marlo is getting some of your bad habits. She's woe is me, woe is me, throwing out her sons, throwing out the cast. Like, what are y'all thinking? Where are y'all going with this situation, this scenario? But I leave this to my fam to sit in those comments and talk about it. Let's just have that conversation. Okay, are you going to be checking out a book that Nene wrote that ain't shit going to be in there? Mm -mm. Nope, especially if they find fault. And they're going to negotiate. He ain't going to be able to say shit. Or she's going to forfeit her money. And I know she ain't that stupid. I know she ain't that stupid. And my whole thing is. Why you just don't stay and work in your club. And make that a success. Why do you keep wanting to be a part of a entertaining field. Market. When they treat you like shit. They treat you like a little puppet. They pull the strings. Is it because of that quick money, that quick rush of fame, fortune, and you think you got power? Hmm. That book wasn't worth a shit. Now you're trying to throw another book down our way. Mouse? Mm, not working. We're not here for that payday. And like I said, I just put certain things up that people were really talking about you. Nene, you don't, you, a lot of people don't like you, baby. They don't. Because they really want you to humble yourself. Because I can't say if you were ever nice because the girl that was dating Bryson at the time that you had all up in your mansion, she was giving us another look, another take of your particular demeanor. And it wasn't good. It wasn't good. And we don't see you out here at the airport and talking to people in beauty salons and you treated them like shit. <sighs> but that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to come here, sit and talk with y'all, try to rationalize what is Nene doing out there, playing all these specific, uh, well, placing all these subliminals out there. Like, if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, call out the people's names, okay? Like you did Andy Cohen, like you did Kim Zosiak. Call out the main players, baby, and tell us what they did. Then you could be like, okay, we can kind of be on your side. Maybe we could work out here and there. But the whole thing would be, are you worth defending? Are you worth defending? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe, share, and like my videos. Okay? And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.